Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers, this is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another series for the channel. If you are a divine masculine Scorpio, a male Scorpio dealing with a divine feminine Aries, divine feminine Aries, or you could be a Scorpio female in the same sex relationship with a divine feminine Aries, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the reading. Calling upon my trusted ancestors and the ancestors, trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is what is going on with this divine feminine Aries. Okay, going to the power of a number 24. You could be 24 years old Scorpio or you could be 42 years of age. Um this Aries could also have Taurus or Piscean energy in their birth chart. I'm also picking that up. So go into the power of number 24. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Trusted ancestors, what does this Scorpio need to know about their divine feminine Aries, please? What is going on here? Okay, there's some kind of truth or victory that is going to be racing and charging ahead towards you, Scorpio. Okay, or some truth is going to get revealed about your divine feminine Aries. Archangel Michael's sort of truth coming in. It could be that if you haven't been in communication with this divine feminine Aries, that communication could be coming in within one week or one month's time. Okay, if you guys have been in separation. Okay, but truth and victory reign supreme. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, it could be that some truth is going to get revealed about some conflict that has been going on between you and your divine feminine Aries, Scorpio. Okay, or your divine feminine Aries is surrounded by dirty bird conflict, okay? Or they could be conflicted within themselves, Scorpio, as to what it is that they want out of this relationship. So some truth is going to get revealed here, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Message from the Ace of Swords. They're trying to find the courage and the strength to open up and communicate with you. Sign of Leo, sign of Virgo energy coming in to help support this energy. It's about the willpower. Somebody here needs the willpower in order to speak up. What is the dirty bird conflict going on right now with this divine feminine Aries? One, two, three, four. Ah. Wow. Somebody here wants to talk. The cards are falling out. Okay. They are conflicted possibly about also too how to approach you. This is a communicator card. This is the Prince of Pentacles. Okay. So it could be that your Divine Feminine Aries is going to be making some small token gift, love offer, gesture. It could be a text message, a phone call, instant message on Facebook. Who knows? Okay. It could be Instagram. You never know. Uh, they want to make an offer here or they want to go out with you, Scorpio. Okay. But they're coming in. This divine feminine Aries that you're dealing with, Scorpio, they're coming in small time. Okay. Message from strength. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why are they struggling with strength in order to communicate what's going on? Oh, because somebody here... Needs to apologize, possibly. 
Somebody may need, again, flat out, black and white, speak their truth. Prince of Cups. See, they're coming in small. They're not, well, our queen is here, okay? The queen is here, but there's an apology that is owed, or maybe Scorpio, we got it, you know, playing a little bit of devil's advocate here. You know, maybe you, Scorpio, owe your divine feminine, Aries, an apology. Could be, could be, but, or it's the other way around, okay? So some of them could be communicating with you within one day, one hour, one month. Okay, there is communication that wants to come forward. There's no doubt about this. Two communicators and truth that is trying to get revealed here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Message from the Queen of Wands, sign of Aries, Divine Feminine Aries. What do you want to say? Okay, what they want to say to you, Scorpio, is that they've been all up in their freaking head. They can be tossing and turning at night. They could have guilt pent up, possibly. Maybe they took your energy for granted, Scorpio. Somebody just cannot get you off of their mind. They can't. Can't do it. No matter how hard this Divine Feminine Aries tries. Mm-mm. They can't. They're 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 feeling something. They're they're going through restlessness right now. Message from the Prince of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Maybe for some of them, if you were dealing with the divine feminine Aries, you could have been married at one point, Scorpio, to this divine feminine Aries. Maybe you felt, Scorpio, also, too, that maybe you thought that this Divine Feminine Aries was a gold digger. You never know. Could be. But maybe also, too, <clears throat> that possibly this Divine Feminine Aries needed a lot of attention. Could be. Or... Maybe in certain scenarios or certain situations, your divine feminine uh, Aries got knocked up, maybe got pregnant with somebody else, and maybe the truth is trying to get revealed here. I don't think necessarily that all of the love is gone in this relationship dynamic with your divine feminine Aries, Scorpio. I feel like somebody here is trying to get back up on their A game. It could also be, too, that maybe, let's just say, for example, that this is a, a crush you know, situation. Maybe your Divine Feminine Aries works a lot, and so their career you know, could be in overdrive right now. And so they could be conflicted because they're thinking about their money, they're thinking about you know, all their finances, but maybe for some of you, you do see yourself marrying to marry this Divine Feminine Aries. Because the Queen of Pentacles does believe in the Institute of Marriage. Somebody here who is grounded, more practical. And it could also be true that truth will get revealed also too by the time we get into Taurus season with your Divine Feminine Aries. What is this message from the Prince of Pentacles, please? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9, 10, 11. It could be that they want to be back under the same roof with you. They could want to, you know, they go, somebody is going from the Prince of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. You know, you could know this uh, Divine Feminine Aries through friends or family. Okay. So foundation structure stability is what is also trying to creep its way in right now, which is a good thing. Okay. Okay. You could have established, you two could have been living together at the same time, but there was conflict. Could have been friends or family members or gab, gossipers and whispers that were, you know, talking in your divine feminine Aries ear, you know. But somehow, some way, I mean, there was like an uphill battle, ten of wands. 
something became burdensome. I feel like there were other people involved. There it was either a third party situation, which could be friends, family members, co-workers, could be a job situation, could be drug addictions. Um, it could be anything. Okay, message from the Queen of Pentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Something about the long-term commitment, the Knight of Pentacles. This is the Princess of Pentacles in this deck. So there is some form of an offer. I feel like there's a starting over in this energy with your Divine Mask. Um, I'm sorry, with your Divine Feminine Aries. Somebody wants to start all over. I feel like somebody here also made a mistake. That's what I'm picking up. Why do I have somebody here that is tossing and turning trusted ancestors? One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why? Somebody needed to take a mental break, okay? Maybe things were getting really complex. The energy was getting heavy at one point in time. But somebody here has also been dreaming about you too. This divine feminine Aries could be dreaming about you, Scorpio, and that's keeping them up in the middle of the night or they're getting up at two, three, four o'clock in the morning. Thinking about this relationship. Message from the Princess of Pentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. What is this? Okay. They could be reaching out in the next two weeks for some of you. Or there's plans. There are plans that are being made. Or this Divine Feminine Aries has been at a crossroads because there's a lot of feelings and emotions that are built or pent up right now. And the truth is going to set somebody free here with the Ace of Swords. Okay. And maybe Scorpio, you know, maybe you had to be the one to take a back seat. Because maybe you just kind of threw your hands up in the air and said, well, I don't know what the hell to do. You know, especially if there was conflict between you and your Divine Feminine Aries. I feel that something here is going to come back around the bend again. Okay? There, yes, were probably happier times that you had with your Divine Feminine Aries. But there, there, there was like a, a misfire of energy. Okay? So an energy connection got severed to some degree. But I do feel that there is some form of reconciliation. Somebody here wants to communicate big time, but somebody needs the courage and the strength to come forward. Or maybe, Scorpio, you're the one that needs to have the courage and the strength to move and charge ahead towards your Divine Feminine Aries. You know, the Aries-Scorpio relationship is not an easy one, you guys. Aries is not a fixed sign, but Aries and Scorpios can really bump heads, especially in the romantic department. I'm not saying it can't work. It's just a lot of compromise needs to happen. Flexibility needs to happen in this Zodiac connection here. And somebody might have just needed to take a backseat or cool off. Maybe there were arguments, tit for tat, you know, not seeing eye to eye on certain situations for some of you. Okay, so just know that this person's energy, your Divine Feminine Aries, they're tossing and turning right now. They're feeling restless because maybe they knew that they had a good thing. Maybe they walked away from you, Scorpio, or maybe you had to walk away from your person because maybe you were the one that gave your person an offer, you know, and maybe they were unsure. So somebody had to take a sabbatical. Somebody had to take a step back. I say that the word reevaluation is going on right now. So it's not like things are in massive um, suspension because if that were the case, uh, maybe like the Haynes Man card would come up. There is some kind of progressive movement. You have an ace here. When you have an ace, it dominates and outweighs all the other cards. Okay, so just know that there is some major truth that is headed in your direction, Scorpio, or vice versa. You need to expose your truth to your Divine Feminine Aries. Either way, okay? 
Thank you so much, Scorpio, for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, Scorpio, take care.